Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. This is part 31 of my Avengers Age of Ultron Iron Man Hulkbuster inspired suit, which I've been working on for over a year now. Obviously, I started well before the movie came out, and I've changed the design a little bit as I've gone to try and make it more like the suit we see in the movie, although some of the things are still my own design. So last time I got some more panels on this. This whole thing is built of a wooden frame with a 3D printed sort of external frame on that for the, that holds all the details on. On top of that, I've got foam sheeting made of floor mats and also some foam PVC board for all the panels, and then I've gone and painted them up. There's lots of 3D printed details on here as well, including the Unibeam, which I put back in last time, and some of these other details. This time I'm just going to be continuing with the details. I'm going to try and get the cod plate and this sort of middle ab section filled in, which you can still see the wood, um, although it's painted silver. So I'm going to be putting the top of the thighs on the cod plate and then hopefully working my way down to do the rest of the shins that I started last time where I put the repulsors in the knees and so far these are just foam which need the other panels putting on. At some point I'll turn it around and do the things on the back and we still need to look at the helmet again, the opening pods in the shoulders and lots of the animatronics and the arms are driven from the elbow down by joysticks in the upper arm. Each one has an Arduino in and there's likely to be quite a lot of electronics and tech in the suit so I can operate some of the features remotely from a smartphone so that basically I can open the panels and close the panels, turn the lights on and off and importantly open the back up so that I can actually climb into the suit Here's a rather simple looking part which is the cod plate which fits onto the existing stick and we'll have some conduit coming out of the back. It's not very exciting to look at, um, it's going to be printed up in ABS and sprayed up. It'll also have some other panels of foam PVC stuck onto it so it'll be smooth instead of a 3D printed texture. Um, and we'll see where that takes us with painting and weathering. Here are the other main parts I'm going to print which are the sides of the abdominals which currently um, have a kind of bracket which has nothing on and those are just below the side pieces I put in last time. So these um, go just behind the piston pieces I have um, and cover those and the pistons sort of stick out of the side. So these are going to be painted up again probably in silver and gold and um, stuck in there as a sort of part of the layering detail. We also have a lot of other brackets to print to hold bits of foam which I won't show you the CAD for because it's rather uninteresting but we'll print them all out and have a look. The new pieces are these which go in uh, to cover this panel on either side which need some painting and weathering and so on to be done to them and also fitting properly. I've also done these pieces which fit on the top of the thigh and these are going to have some conduit attached to them which comes up to the cod plate in various sizes so if you can imagine that coming out of the top of these and going into the rest of the kind of cod plate that comes around there. So several sections there which I printed in small sections to fit on the 3D print bed. I've also made this piece, which is just um, push fitted on for now. That's also got holes in for conduit to run out the back, and then big panels will come up to meet the rest of the cod plate. And if you remember, this entire piece is actually removable. So this comes off, and uh, that means that I can actually take the torso off and put it down flat on a surface without all of that stuff hanging off the front. So it makes it much easier to transport. I've also made various size brackets with various contours on them and so on. So those all get screwed around the wooden sort of pelvis piece. And that's where the foam mounts to give it the contour. So this one goes at the front and these go at the sides. Those parts have been stuck on. So I can mount a nice foam contour piece in here that goes behind the removable cod plate piece. So we better get some foam out.
I've stuck some conduit in here, which I think looks pretty good, and these are loose at the top, so when I pick up the top of the torso, they don't stretch or have to be anchored to anything. I put some more in here, and there are still more holes in these top sections where I can put another three or up to about seven bits of conduit. Um, you can still see through here, and eventually there'll be some backing on this attached to the torso. I've also put a bit of foam on the cod plate here, so it's not completely see-through. And next I need to fill in the thighs here, uh, which will block in the insides of the legs as well. Then after that we can get some rigid panels on. I'm really happy with the way that I've got this piece to fit together and the way that I've broken up the details there so we haven't got large slabs of um, sort of contour pieces we've got these details broken up with some conduit that looks like it actually does something which is what I've been intending since the start but I just didn't really know what it looked like until I actually put the parts together. printed out some pieces here, these are actually left over from before and they were going to be the shoulder bell pivot hubs but they were too big so I put those to one side. I printed these new parts which I sprayed gold and I printed these red sections, the whole thing fits together like this and the red parts are printed in Tallman tea glass which is basically a translucent material so lights can shine through and I used this before on the panels either side of the chest plate. Iron Man Troll Identity Disc in actual fact, it's not an identity disc, and it goes all the way down here somewhere. So a quick recap from the last episode was I got as far as putting these foam things on the 3D printed frames that are down on the knees, and I put these pieces on. We still have the red parts to put on, but I did print the knee repulsors which have LED arrays in them, and they're printed in a combination of materials. 
with lots of LEDs in there so they light up, they've got transparent ABS and this piece with a grill on and those go in the knees and they're going to be set away there. I've also printed these little trim parts which go around each knee at the top so we should hopefully be able to get those installed and hopefully the uh, red stuff will come up neatly here so we only have a little gap and we don't see too much of this nasty edge. The parts I've just printed however are for the side of the legs so the foam will continue around here and if you remember I made these back door hatches which hinge open um, which will have the back of the legs mounted on them um, and those are going to be cable controlled like so, so I can open them and then shut them again behind me and the piece I've just printed is actually going to go right here so it looks a bit weird at the moment, um, it's a bit like a, something a transformer would have I think but it's just going to um, set off the back of the car there, I'm not sure exactly what height it goes at um, again we've got those transparent sections so we're going to have lights behind there that light up and I think the foam that comes around here is going to come right round to this contour but it also gives me this piece behind because there's quite a big um, gap there which means that my opening door, and I don't know if you can just see that will um, hinge into somewhere, will hinge in behind here so this big opening door flap as it comes round it actually will fit in behind here so that will um, quite neatly finish off that seam and the, um, I plan the angle of this door to move quite neatly so that it kind of stays flat with the edge here so any big bulky piece will neatly go and slot behind this big disc so that won't look too bad. Here's a quick look at that from another angle so there's the thing I've installed now on the, it's just screwed onto the wood and as this thing opens we should have that panel drop in so this will have quite a big back panel on which hinges into this gap. That's actually all I'm going to do in this episode and the reason for that is that I've done as much as I can in terms of panels without interfering with the knee joints and the ankle joints and I really need to be able to test drive the suit before I do any more so I can check there's no problems with the flexibility and being able to walk. Um, the cod plate is a bit of a punt, I think it looks okay, I think it's not going to clash on the thighs but I'm not really going to know till I test it. However, it's quite tricky to get in and out of the suit at the moment. I really need to do some more work on the mechanical latches, so the uh, locks that unlock the knees and those bits and pieces so I can regularly get in and out of the suit easily and do the testing. At the moment it's quite tricky, so it's a bit of a stress to do it and keep adjusting things. So next time I'm going to be working on some of the mechanics, probably replacing the knee latches and also sorting out some of the electronics so that I can test the opening and closing flaps and get some sort of controls going on those lower arms. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check back for more updates on this project and other projects. Also check out my social media pages which are linked to in the description of this video for sneak peeks and updates on many of the projects.